Uh, hi, my name is David Morris. Uh, I am the uh, North Florida Director for the Florida Rights of Nature Network. And uh, we are here today to discuss and to um, uh, release to the public you know, information on the amendment that we passed or that we're promoting uh, in the 2024 election. Um, so with that, um, I'm going to start with uh, myself, and then after that, we'll have speakers. It'll be uh, Commissioner Anna Frazia from Electra County uh, Commission. Um, it'll be uh, John Quarterman, who uh, is speaking on behalf of the, uh, he is the Swanee uh, Riverkeeper. And uh, then we have uh, David Vena, who is also a member of the uh, uh, OSFR, our Santa Fe River. So quite a distinguished group here today. Um, let me start off with a statement that I think is, is really something that needs to be the number one takeaway. Uh, and that is that extraordinary problems uh, require extraordinary solutions. And Florida waters have extraordinary problems. Uh, the right to clean and healthy waters, the name of our amendment uh, to the Florida Constitution, is an extraordinary solution to Florida's water problems. For decades, we have ignored common sense and polluted our water uh, as if there were no consequences. But there are consequences. Uh, and dying springs, rivers, and lakes clogged with harmful algae blooms, invasive plants, the near extinction of many of our birds, manatee, and Florida panther are evidence that those consequences are now coming back to us. And they're coming back to us much faster and much harder than we might have expected them to. Uh, for many years, I have joined others in signing petitions, amending water management, uh, attending water management district meetings uh, to ask for the rejection of consumptive use permits, um, which were affecting our springs, rivers, and lakes. Uh, for many years, as a member of Alaska County Environmental Protection Advisory Committee, EPAC, uh, I have uh, participated in the Orange Creek Basin Management Action Plan. Uh, this is the BMAP, which is supposed to be protecting the, uh, the water bodies in the eastern part of Electric County. After the first five years of the BMAP, our waters were even more polluted than they were before. Uh, that obligated uh, the uh, Florida Department of Environmental Protection to rewrite a new BMAP. Uh, and only when it was done, an analysis of it convinced me that it would not, in fact, work. The plan for reducing pollution would remove less pollution than we already knew would continue to fill those water bodies. A study of the MFL and DMAP lawsuits being brought against the state reveals uh, that we have been completely unsuccessful in getting the state to change its ways. And even when these lawsuits have, have presented overwhelming scientific evidence that the state's plans were woefully insufficient, Administrative judges, all appointed by the Florida, the Florida State Governor, almost every time have ruled in favor of the state. Our legislators and governor don't work for us. They work for the corporations and organizations who donate their campaigns, donate to their campaigns. Even when 70% of the Florida citizens voted for a plan to help protect our waters, and here I'm referring to the amendment number one of 2014, our legislature has consistently refused to follow the intent of that amendment, preferring instead to use those funds in, in ways which in many cases are totally inconsistent which, with the, uh, uh, the author's intent. Those who penned our Florida Constitution said it correctly when in Article 1, Section 1, they wrote, and I quote, all political power is inherent in the people, end quote. And based upon that statement, we the people of Florida have the authority to declare that we have a fundamental right to clean and healthy water. And that is what right to clean and healthy waters, our amendment, does. It shouldn't take a constitutional amendment for Florida citizens to have that right. But given many of our bills, Given, given many of the bills our legislature has been passing and which our governor has been signing into law, um, such as uh, State, uh, Senate Bill 1000, 2022, we believe that most citizens will agree with us, sign our petition, and vote to pass this amendment 
much as the 89% of Orange County citizens did when they voted to pass a right to clean water amendment to the county charter in the 2000 election. Extraordinary problems require extraordinary solutions. And Florida waters have extraordinary problems. The right to clean and healthy waters, an amendment to the Florida Constitution, is an extraordinary solution to Florida's water problems. Thank you. Um, Anna? Sure.